Okay, I'm in my car right now, and Ricky's supposed to be here at 6.15. Look at that handsome man holding the camera. So handsome. Good morning, Ricky. Good morning. Andy. How's it feel to know that last night I was up making a new title screen and I added you officially in the end credits as a cameraman? Yeah, hey, I've made it. And he's made Going it. One big. I think by now it's kind of pointless for me to be talking to you guys about what we're doing before the swap meet. I'm kind of tired of talking about food every week. Oh, hi. So, um... That's the swap meet. That's how close this Del Taco is. I like coming here because it's like seconds away so we can take our time and eat. Because Ricky is the king of rushing us while we're eating. Ricky, that's true, right? What? How much you rush us yes. while we're trying to eat here? Yes. Yes. By the way, Ricky's wearing a poncho. You should probably see that. Yeah, it's not a poncho. It's an authentic Mexican sweater. Hey, it was. I, I reach in the closet just to pull a sweater. It's the first thing that pops up. I was like, it's, it's a, a sign. sign. <laughs> it's a sign. We're here. And it's a glorious day. I'm here with Cormano. And Ricky, are you going to find something uh, bueno today? Yes. Muy bueno. Wild guns. He says wild guns every time. Ricky, you got to mix it up so they have something different to watch. All right. I'm going to find for sure Mario Duck Hunt. The That's what I was going to say. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> Let's go. Now I have no hope for it. <laughs> So besides finding patches that I love, I just saw this sitting here. Fall of the Foot Clan. Which is a great ultra game. It's a, like a side scroller platformer. Ninja Turtles game on the Game Boy, and it's a fun one. Let's see how much it is. I, I'd pay five-ish bucks for it. How much are the games? Uh, three. Three? I shall take this. I will be picking this up to add into my collection. I was gonna say, I know nothing about sports, but the one thing I do know is there was a guy in the Ducks named George Peros, and I went to a hockey game once. And he has a huge mustache, he looks like Tom Selleck, and I swear he started like 78 fights that night. So he goes down as a legend in my book, as one of the only hockey players and sports players I really care to love. I think I love him. The NES is a system loved by many, especially retro gamers, and there's a game on the NES that I always hear people talking about and how much they love it, but if I'm honest, I never really cared for it. At all, really. Wayne Gretzky Hockey, which is a hockey game I never see, really, actually, a Nintendo one. But, I was gonna say, Spy Hunter is like a love uh, racing shooting game on the Nintendo. But I'll admit, it's one that I never really liked, but everybody seems to love it. So either I'm in a minority or I'm the only genius that knows. Look at Bugs Bunny Crazy Castle. Have you ever seen a birthday blowout by ABGN? That's like the, it's probably the wildest video I've seen in my life on YouTube, besides our stuff. <laughs> Andy, why don't you give us some info on Echo the Dolphin? Echo the Dolphin. I used to play this game a lot when I was a kid. I actually lucked out because there was an area where you could put the codes in. And I just randomly put a code in and got to like a level that I could never get to. So I don't know if it was like a really hard level. Dude, that's or what. like every kid's dream. You used to sit there for like an hour trying to enter in codes and hope one would work. Yeah, it worked. And I was like all stoked, but then I didn't really like the game that much anyway. I got to like a hard level that I couldn't actually get to. Andy. Pretty awesome. You have won the world of kid gaming. <laughs> so a while back, if you guys remember, I was given a Nintendo TV food tray. Ricky happens to find one. It's not Nintendo, but it's really cool. And he got it right under my nose. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty jealous. Muy bueno, Ricky. Ninja Turtles tray you just bought. This thing's pretty legit. It's 1988 Ninja Turtles memorabilia. Look, there's Mikey, Donnie, 
Leo, and Raph. Who's your favorite, Aaron? My favorite, Mikey, for sure. Because he's obviously calm and gentle like me. Yes. What are you going to eat on that, Ricky? What's your first order of business to eat with that? You know exactly what I'm going to eat. Take a guess. Cup and crunch? Yeah. That's what I like. <laughs> Next we run into a guy who has a pretty darn big lot of good stuff like Nintendo boxes and games like Bucky O'Hare and Dragon Warrior 3, but this stuff was a little out of our price range, so we didn't go with anything. But next we run across a dude who has some pretty good wave birds, but you won't believe the price he was asking. This has got to be a joke. So we were just talking to a reseller and um, we see a couple wave birds and we know they're kind of, you know, kind of pricey. And I'm like, how much are these? And um, there was two of them and he said 50 each. Um, first time in a while, I almost slapped somebody that I don't know a part of the show. 50 bucks. I know these things can be worth like, I don't know, 25, 30 bucks. Me and Ricky 30, don't pay. 30 tops. But no, that's would, bull crap. I don't pay more than five. I don't pay more than five, plain and simple. Dude, I so, have like five of them now and I yeah, never paid them I have like four of them now. So. But for 50 bucks each, um, yeah, I was kind of pissed actually. That one dude. We are at the swap meet. Yes. This is the legendary swap meet of Mr. You Don't Push My Mother. I think that guy had like a quote. Quotes as good as Slippy from Star Fox. I'd say my favorite quote from him was, take a swing, let me kill you. Take a swing, let me kill you. <laughs> and then the guy goes, I try, I didn't even push her. And he goes, you think I care. <laughs> I barely touched oh, you her. Oh, I care. I love that guy. So my wife and I went out to dinner last night for Valentine's Day, but I left the credit card there. So we're on our way to go check and see if it's still there. I sure hope it is. She's called me pretty pissed this morning. Hi, hi. Ricky's freaking Transformer Bumblebee hand is driving me nuts right now. It's like the world's loudest toy. Clank, 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 clank. God, shut that thing up! I don't know if they're gonna have my credit card or not. Um, if they don't, my wife's gonna be mad. She wasn't happy, I could tell when I talked to her this morning. She's like, did you get the credit card last night? And I do remember it was me that gave them the credit card, so. Is she gonna beat you? She will. Yes, yes. No okay. divorce for me. You don't know how much this made my day. It's one of those things where like it shouldn't be a big deal, but you know like your stomach just sets like, oh man, it's gonna be a crappy day, she's gonna be mad. If they did steal it, we're gonna have to file credit card fraud if people spent it. So this is great. This is a date for celebration, Ricky. Let's hug. You wanna hug? Not really. Let's hug. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody told me that you had a boyfriend that looked like a girlfriend. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Serious head rush. <laughs> what, how do metal bands do this? How do metal headbands headbands? How do metal headbands? <laughs> Shut up, metal headbanger! How do people headbang that long? I think, I think oh, I'm too old. I think it's the long hair. It helps. Metal Jesus Scott JHMDF. How do you do it? <laughs> Don't you make me swerve. So that's it for the day, and yes, I do mean day, because we are going out tonight with our kids, actually, to go game hunting and get some food. So we're gonna bring the camera along anyway. I think we're getting Andy to film, actually, also. Awesome. What's your favorite type of toy? A Batman. Do you have a cape on? Yeah. Does it fly? Yeah. Show me, go run. I wanna see. Okay. Whoa, that is flying. Let's roll. What's the level we are? It's nighttime now, the same day, and we're about to go game hunting. And uh, guess who's not here on time? Uh, name rhymes with icky, starts with an R, ends with a Y, likes churros. <sighs> What's it like not to have to worry about time? I'll never know. Never. 
So after Ricky finally showed up, we're on our way to Fat Collectibles. It's pretty much the only place in the area that's open kind of late and lets us film. And we're actually meeting up with a fan slash subscriber of the show, so hopefully he's awesome so we won't have to cut him out of the footage. There's a car full of us. And I am driving, look at that. Full stop at that stop sign. Ricky, you ready for this? Dude, I'm ready. Kids back there? Hi. Bricks? I'm on YouTube. Oh yeah, Gabriel, you want any subscribers or what? Huh? Tell them why they should subscribe. Subscribe. How come? Why, why should they subscribe? I don't know. They need a reason. Tell them. Give them a reason to subscribe. Because you can be dumb. Because you can be dumb. You heard it here first. Subscribe to us so you can be dumb. So we are now here at Fat Collectibles and I noticed something I've never really noticed before about a lot of NES games. A lot of them have pretty like epic cover art, like really well hand drawn stuff. And then there are some that are absolute crap. Okay, so I was just looking at all these cover arts and I was thinking to myself like, this is like they had an artist, like for sure, you know, they had a guy. Artist design, this is an artist design. Let's build some happy little trees. This is well done, but this, it's just like somebody just went on Google search, yeah, I'm sure in the 80s. Google search in the 80s and just pulled up like flat up Im images and just pasted them on it. It's like, looks like it was made by a little kid and it's, um, looks like what Ricky would do if he learned how to do that. I'm just being real, Ricky. What? That's like if you, I told you to make a cover art for something, that's oh, probably what it looked like. Uh, I would, I wish it would look like that. Ricky does good work here. Hey look, we're here with somebody. Why don't you tell him your name? I'm Jer. I'm a huge fan. Just thought I would uh, try to connect with these guys. I was down here doing some uh, game hunting at Swap Meets today, and uh, they were kind he of. Made us, to, he made uh, us feel special. I'm not gonna lie. We showed up in the parking lot. He's like, "I love you guys." And I was like, "Oh, we love you it's too." True. Happy Valentine's. So. You know what? <laughs> hey, what can I say? These guys rock. So that generation's lost. I don't know if anybody has ever played it or seen it. But to us, it looks like one of those like romance novels. It reminds it, it's a mix of like the Wizards and Warriors Fabio cover and the guy on the front of Golden Axe. And it's almost like super sensual. Yesterday was Valentine's Day, so I guess it gives us an excuse to, uh, you know, see some sensual games. But I've never. Oh look, Mature 13. I don't, I don't think I've seen that in a long time on a video game, especially on, a, on an old video game. The rare one says that that makes my day. That uh, lets me know he had a good Valentine's Day too. Married um, almost eight years. Yeah, and Ricky nine. Nine. How about you? Oh my goodness. Coming about four. Nice. Come on, dude. Yeah, I know. I'm so <laughs> slack. You might as well not even be married. <laughs> End it now. Tell her it was our idea. What's wrong with these Mexicans? Yeah. <laughs> the guys at Retro Liberty said, so dude, this guy kind of looks like me. That is one handsome doll right there. Doctor Who? He has the same hair. So we does. just got to cut the sideburns <laughs> off right here. It, it looks like Aaron, Aaron back when he was in the, in the band. That is me when I was in the band. Even the, the whole look, except for the bow tie. Oh yeah. So Fat Collectibles was good as always. We always like to go there just to have a good time, even if we're not really gonna buy anything, just to hang out and hang around video games. And by the way, this guy Jarrah was a really nice guy. He's one of those guys that made us feel really proud to be doing what we're doing and made us feel like all the hard work that we're doing on our channel really is worth it. So thank you to him and thank you to all you guys. And now, time for some random clip. And now, I present you with a very sad moment from my son. My wife is going to be pissed I posted this. Daddy? What happened? <laughs> what happened? Daddy! What happened? <laughs> I blame Ricky for this. I don't know why, but I blame everything on Ricky. Hi amigos, I'm Aaron and I'm Ricky and we're Retro Liberty and we hope you enjoyed the video and we thank Andy right off the bat for this weekend <laughs> for helping us for Saturday morning and Saturday night. How much do we pay Andy an hour? So thank you, Andy. <laughs> That's, uh, yeah. I, I know, I was watching a video today about how much people make on YouTube. It basically pays for gas, and we're so in debt from YouTube. So yeah, we make a lot of money doing it. <laughs> so uh, yeah, we can't pay anybody. We can't even pay ourselves. So uh, but with that said, let's get straight. How do you say straight in Spanish? Derecho. 
Derecho into what we got. I like that word. That's a good Spanish word right there. And then right is derecha. Wow. That's great. I love Mexico. Viva Mexico. Alright, go ahead Ricky, tell me what you got. Yay! Alright, so for my first pickup I got Pac-Man for the NES, the non tengen version. Yeah, which is way harder to find. Well, at least in our area, right? Yeah, I've, we don't uh, see I it. don't see it too much. I, I think I've seen it like one other time out here. Um, and if you guys have never played Pac-Man. It's just like Pac the other pac man Yeah, I know, yeah. It's just <laughs> Pac-Man. Hey, Pac-Man's awesome, though. Yeah. It's kind of where the whole nom 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 thing, I feel like, came from. Everyone says nom nom nom. I know, if you go like this with your ear, it sounds just like the Pac-Man guy. I'm serious. Whoa. Hey. Yeah, see? <laughs> C. Okay, C. <laughs> yeah. Alright. And then for my second game, Widget on the NES. It's not the greatest game, but it is hard to find, I guess. It is... It's uncommon. It's, it's uncommon. There we yeah, go. Yeah, we, uh... I, I never played it personally, but I was looking up gameplay, and I guess it's like... The guy said it's kind of like Captain America, where it's like environmentalist, kind of? Like, you gotta That's save it's awful. five planets. It's bad. It's bad. I can't say it's totally awful. Hey, did you play this? Yeah, I, I don't like it though. I was gonna give it to you. Uh, I don't. I don't want it either. What? What could we do with it? <gasps> Clay pigeon. Ready? Yep. All right. Go. Oh my gosh! But it is pretty. I bad. heard the Super Nintendo version's good. I hear it's actually really good, from what a few people say. So. If you now it's time for me, Aaron. Uh, TMNT, Fall of the Foot Clan, and Ultra Game, the same company that brought you Rollerblades on the NES. I think it did. Yeah, it did. I think. Rollerblades. Roller Games. Did I say Rollerblades? <laughs> yeah. Yes. I brought you like, Rollerblades roller on the NES. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, the game's uh, pretty good. It's not um, amazing. It, there's the storyline and everything is a basic Ninja Turtle game. There's nothing crazy. You're platforming, fighting Foot Clan, and. Fighting Solo! It's okay. It's fun. It's, it's Ninja Turtles. It's cool. It's that's all we found. I found like a that metal plate. What was what? that? The TV tray. Metal Jesus. Oh yeah, the plate. The metal. Yeah, the metal tray. The TV tray. Did you say Metal Jesus? Yeah, Metal <laughs> Jesus. Wish I found Metal Jesus at the swamp meet. Okay. The uh, last thing I'm gonna show is Super Mario Galaxy on the Wii. We didn't catch it on camera, but I got it for three bucks. So that was cool. Um, it's in here. The disc is in good condition. This game made it into. I think it was number six in my top ten Mario games of all time. Number six. Number six. <laughs> That's how the guy sounds that does it. Eric from Crossroads Reviews, hello. Number six. The game's awesome. If you guys haven't played it, it's super explorative. It's a whole, um, I think it's one of the best made Marios in the fact of like exploring and just going on a journey and flying through stars. It's good. Doing, yeah, it takes you to a whole different really world. Good. A whole new world. A new pen fantastic point of view. No one to tell us where. Or where Are you seeing Aladdin? Yeah. <laughs> Are you not? <laughs> okay, yeah. Um, that's it, yay! I love only showing two games, it makes my <laughs> editing life easier. Um, so yeah, I, hey, well, last time in the video we didn't say like the video, please do. Keeps us going, especially when we get tired. Last week I was, on I'll admit, I was kind of tired of editing. <laughs> but I really was, I'm like, I'm over this. But yeah, help uh, help us motivate and keep us motivated or whatever. Hit that like button, subscribe and all that. We're here every week. And anything, Ricky, do you have anything important to say to everybody right now? Never do. We he doesn't to... care about you guys. It's yeah, do I just? What am I gonna say? Just, Hi. You should have a lot to say to these people. They have a lot to say in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Honestly, it means a lot to us. Bull crap answer right there. <laughs> <laughs> That's like it's a, true. I know, I know. That's like a TV commercial answer though. <laughs> uh, okay, that's it. I guess we're just gonna go. I feel like we didn't say anything this time. We didn't. I like it. Good. Bye. My love. wondering how I have such a great body? It's all because of this right here. Did you see a spider came out of the case when I did yeah, it? Yeah, what was that? That was weird. <laughs> Is this still there? Look at it, dude. Look, look at that. Let's look at it. Keep it rolling. Keep it rolling. Keep it clean. Let's see. What happened? One hit. Oh my god. Dude. Oh my goodness.
What an oh oh no! I can't even get it. Oh no! Ew! Oh, Mary Kate and Ashley. Dude, those were collectibles. Nintendo World Championships was in this. I'm just gonna imagine. <laughs> no! Yeah, I got it good. Kingsley sent us this. You gonna be mad? Man, who cares? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 